2.4 introduces to you the quotient rule. This is probably my favorite calculus lesson because I have a really great way for you to remember this. Now, it may seem really silly to you, but I've had students that come back from university that say, um, Ms. Havrot, I'm the only one in my class that remember the quotient rule, and I'm, I could teach it to anybody. And, and they do, and it's just a really great, easy way to remember it. I've looked on the internet, and there is someone else who does something similar to this, but it's not as good as mine. So if we have q at x is f at x over g at x, so function divided by another function, then the derivative is g at x f prime x minus f at x g prime x over g at x squared. Now how are you going to remember this? And this is where it gets to be fun. Fun. Remember that? Math is fun. If we talk about the top function as being high and the bottom function as being ho or low, high, low, then the derivative of the top, the derivative of the high one, would be d high. And the derivative of the bottom would be d ho. Now watch. So we get ho d high minus high d ho over ho squared. And that is the easiest way for you to remember this. Now, sometimes students will say, how do we know if it's ho first or high? So it's ho because we just finished Christmas when I did this video. But ho, ho, ho. So ho de high minus high de ho over ho squared. And if you say that every time you do this, I swear you will not make a mistake when you're doing your test. And those students of mine who were just too cool for school and didn't want to do that, they always had trouble. So don't be too cool for school. Ho de high minus high de ho over ho squared. Watch how easy that's going to be when I do this. If I have a pencil with some lead in it here. Click, click. Here we go. Okay, so y prime. Ho. What's ho? 2x squared. d high. Derivative of the top. That would be 6x. Ho d high. Minus high. So when I say high, you write it all out. d ho. 4x. Over ho squared. 4x to the 4th. Don't forget to multiply everything. 2x, 2, 2, x squared, x squared. Okay, now you should simplify this. So that's going to give me 12x cubed, right? 12x cubed. And then minus... Now, I would do this, right? Because I'm, I'm very cautious with my negative signs, and so should you be. So I have 3x squared times 4x. That's 12x cubed. And minus 6 times 24. 4 is minus 24x over 4x to the 4th. Don't start dividing anything out here. That would be really bad. So I have 12x cubed minus 12x cubed hmm, plus 24x. So I have 24x over 4x to the 4th. And now you can simplify. So you don't want to simplify before... Before you get to, <clears throat> sorry, before you get to the, um, before you get to the end here, because if you do, you just might, you might mess up on something here, right? Okay, so four goes into twenty-four six times. I need to put it up here, so it's going to be six over x cubed, and there you go. So let's look at number two. So this is high. And this is low or ho. So y prime is ho d high minus high d ho all over ho squared. Cool, isn't it? It's so easy. And now I expand, so that gives me 2x cubed plus 2x 
minus, okay, I'm going to just do it this time, x squared times 2x, that's 2x cubed, so it's minus 2x cubed, and this is minus 2x times minus, so plus 2x over x squared plus 1 squared, and then gather your like terms. So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed gives me 4x all over x squared plus 1 squared. Now the next example here, ooh, I was off the page, I'm so sorry. There you go. This one over here, 1 over 2x squared plus 6. So you could do this as a quotient rule if you want, but I think it would be much easier if you brought the denominator and wrote it like this, right, before you start. That would be easier. I'll show you. It works out the same. So we get negative and then 2x squared plus 6 to the minus 2 times the derivative of the inside. So that gives me, this is, uh, the trick here is to figure out what's in the top, what's in the bottom. So the negative doesn't matter. We're going to leave it in the top. So I have minus 4x is in the numerator, but all of this is in the denominator. 2x squared plus 6 squared. Now you could fat, no, you don't want to factor out the 2 because this is squared. Now watch, um, let's see if I have enough room to do it here. If I did it as ho d high, so I would have ho d high, driven of 1 is 0, minus high d ho, derivative of the bottom is 4x all over ho squared, 2x squared plus 6 squared. So this is all 0, and I get negative 4x over 2x squared plus 6 squared. So that was actually easier, I think, don't you? Okay, let's do some other types of calculations here. Of course, Term the coordinates on the graph where the slope is zero. Okay, so we're talking slope, so we need a slope function, and slope function, this is calculus. <laughs> Take the derivative, right? Oh, I keep having trouble with this pencil. Okay, so we're going to take the derivative. Y prime. Ho de high. Hi? Ho. I bet you've got it all figured out now. Watch. Ho d high minus hi d ho over ho squared. It's so easy to use this rule. Trust me. Trust me on this one. I've got your back. So I have 2x squared minus 2x minus x squared all over x minus 1 squared. Simplify this. That gives me x squared minus 2x all over x minus 1 squared. So I want to know where the slope is 0. So I want to set y prime equal to 0 and find the coordinates. So set y prime equal to 0. So I get x squared minus 2x over x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. Now if you're trying to make this equal to 0, this cannot be 0, right? So you're only looking to the numerator. What makes this 0? So in the numerator, that's the same as x times x minus 2, right? You would factor it. So that means x is going to be equal to 0 or 2. Now, if they're asking for coordinates on a graph, you're not going to give this. This isn't coordinates, right? That's just your x value. So if I plug in x equals 0 into y here, I'd have 0 over minus 1. So 0 and 0. Or 2. Put in 2, I have 4. Divided by 1 is 4. And there's your answer. Where the slope is 0. So anytime you see slope... Where the slope is 5, where the slope is 2, where the slope is whatever. You set your slope function, which is your derivative, equal to what they're asking you to find. 
Okay, a little trickier question, one of my students always asked me to take up, so I thought I would do this one with you. Um, it's a word problem. Let me just find it here. It says, an initial population of P of a thousand bacteria grows in number according to this equation. So they give you this equation, where T is in hours, find the rate at which the population is growing at one and two hours. So I want one and two hours. So I need to take the derivative of this. And this this might seem a little complicated, but it, it's not as hard as it looks. Watch. The derivative, p prime t. So remember some of the derivative rules that um, if you're taking the derivative, it's the same thing as a constant times the derivative of the function. So I'm going to leave this constant out front, just like that. Leave it alone. It's there and take the derivative of this. So the derivative of one is zero, and the derivative of this is going to be a quotient rule. So I have my ho d high minus high d ho all over ho squared. Okay, so you don't have to worry too much about simplifying because you're just going to plug in one. But I will simplify this a bit here. Uh, the numerator, that gives me 4t squared. Ugh. 4t squared plus 200 minus 8t squared all over t squared plus 50 quantity squared. Okay, so finally, I'm just going to write that as a thousand times. So 4t squared minus 8t squared is minus 4t squared plus 200 over t squared plus 50 squared. So I want to know what is p prime at one hour? So that's a thousand. And I just plug in one for my t. So t squared here, if I put in 1, that gives me minus 4 plus 200 divided by 1 squared is 1, and then I have 51 squared. Ew, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to cheat and just tell you what the answer is. You can put it into your calculator. You get about 75.36. And if you wanted to find p at 4, you just plug in 4 for t. Okay, so that's um, your Hody High rule for the day. Um, very, very easy to remember it using this rule, right? Hody High minus High de Ho over Ho squared. If you say it every time you're doing a quotient calculation, a quotient derivative, and you will remember it by the time you finish, probably even listening to me. So remember, ho ho first, ho de high minus hi de ho over ho squared. Kind of like Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, except they went hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. It's home from work we go, and you're going to do it the other way around because Santa Claus comes first. Ho, ho, ho. There you go, your lesson for your day.